Welcome to today's episode of uh, Tristan Take Video. Today I'm speaking with professional cyclist Ben Perry for Human Powered Health. Now this is uh, Ben's first year with Human Powered Health. The team is sponsored by Wahoo. This video is not sponsored by Wahoo. It's just something I wanted to do to let you guys know how a professional cyclist sets up their Wahoo bike computer and maybe something that you can get out of this to help you set up your Wahoo computer to train better. Ben just finished third at the uh, Human Powered Health Camp Champ earlier today. You'll have to watch the full episode that I'm making to see what happened there. So first race of the year out the way we've done a lot of training this week we're up to about 20 hours or so so far for the training camp can you just tell me what's on your your main page that you're looking at when you're training on your wahoo so a lot of the time i'll have average watts average rpm yeah i really use a lot of like normalized power as well tss just to see like the intensity of the ride because some rides if like here in portugal there's some really steep climbs and some really fast descents so it's hard to get a gauge of how much intensity there's been on the ride with that many that much up and down um, changes sort of in, in tempos and everything so it gives you a bit more of a sense of how hard things have been because if you're just riding one pace the whole day you're not necessarily touching all those sort of zones and stimulating your body and, and your muscles and everything but you're actually getting a great workout even if you're coasting half of the time okay so tss explains that so for you guys at home if you don't know what tss is tss is your training stress score so that is the uh, intensity of your ride it's a combination of your power or, or heart rate and the distance of the ride in terms of hours so tss is an overall stress score and what are you aiming for when you're out for a training ride say a four hour training ride what's your tss generally well that's the thing it's like if you did a seven hour ride <clears throat> and you did 250 tss it would be a very chilled out seven hour ride but then today was under four hours and it was pretty close to 250 TSS so that's a good metric for me because you can see like okay it was 250 TSS which is a solid amount but considering it was done in three and a half ish hours that's actually very high TSS considering so we did that that race simulation that was around 45 minutes and then that 45 minutes we got a lot of TSS so okay. what's next on your uh, your Wahoo there well a couple things now with that the Wahoo has actually is if you upload the route for the race you get the climbs come up on the course and it shows the gradient of the climb at every sort of meter and you can zoom in and out which i find very handy because if a climb if you looked back in the day you'd be like oh there's a climb it's 5k at three percent well maybe it's 1k at 10 and then the next 4k are at one so really you just got to survive that first k and then you can draft quite a bit or back in the day people go oh, i don't know if i can make it over that and they yeah, start so the they're climb. just looking at average for the entire mm. climb not each individual kilometer along so that's really handy and look the good thing with that is that comes up automatically if you have the route loaded and if you were settings turned on to turn onto that and then what else is on uh, on that home page that you've got the main one for training um kilometers written on that day just so i kind of know how many how much how much is left i really try to keep my rpms high oh you have rpm on there yeah i think rpm is pretty key because sometimes you get a little distracted you're not thinking you get the the, the uh, legs bogged down a bit so I think that's good. I try to avoid looking at my current power number in training but then when I hit that lap button for intervals it pops up right away and then lap time. In training you're paying attention to general watts only when you're doing your efforts. You start a lap you look at the watts <coughs> and yeah. you're just focused on the watts you're aiming for during those efforts and not in general training. Yeah because I find there's like almost uh, an issue with people. There's a lot of people who train and they go oh i've averaged 240 watts so far for this ride i want to keep my average of 240 where they be much better off riding around a 200 smashing some intervals chilling out again smashing some intervals and sort of do more specific training to simulate your body or a lot of people get caught into that rhythm of oh it looks more impressive on strava if i average this power or more yeah and that's actually if you want to race well that's the worst thing you can do in my opinion so you avoid looking at that and then anything else on your homepage that you've got there uh, i've been putting max power on because i'm not the snappiest rider but i've been trying to work on it i'll try to do some sprints every ride in the last little while i've been doing sprints every ride so i've got max power on there and try to see what i can get every day and then if we jump over to your race page, how does the race page differ from the training page on your Wahoo? So luckily with the Wahoo, like the climb feature obviously is really good like within the race when you have the race course loaded. And then I still have all the other pages when I scroll through. If I want to see like, yeah, max power or TSS or kilojoules, but then my race page will just hit lap when we, sort of when the neutral zone ends. And then I just really focus on speed, kilometers <coughs> and time lap time and lap kilometers. Speed for if you're in a break, if I'm in a breaker situation, situation and you're pulling through with people just to keep the speed where it is. Time mostly to keep track of eating, to make sure I'm getting all the grams of carbs I need per, per hour. And then at yeah, kilometers to know like where I'm at in the race and then yeah, I'll scroll over to the map and then the climb feature will pop up. And also with the climb feature as well on my page, I have Watts just because 
speed is one thing when you're chopping off and the, and, and the road is gradually up, gradually down. You can just kind of get a feel for what the group is doing. You can feel for how hard you're going. But if you hit a climb and you're feeling great and you've had some caffeine, and you, it's better off to ride the climb at the same watch you've been doing on the flat rather than or a little bit higher rather than just rail the climb thinking oh, I feel great and then yeah. so on down. your map page keep the watts on there as well and then on the map page obviously for the descents as well you chuck yeah, it on yeah 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 find well, the map has been super helpful this week yeah oh it's it's, it's everything yeah because some some corners look like it's going to be a switchback and then it's just there's just a big rock wall on the inside and you can just tuck arrow tuck and you don't break it all and yeah. so by keeping an eye on the map you can uh, you can know how to keep the, ma the maximum sort of average speed in the race by not breaking too much into those corners or being able to get off the brakes when you're in the corner coming out, carry that speed. And that can save you a sprint effort or something. It's all about saving those little efforts in racing. Save a match. Anything else you got on Wahoo that's any special things mm -hmm. do not disturb is on there or you just kind of got it set up like that and you're pretty happy with how it is? Yeah, I, 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 there's nothing I'm really longing for on this bad boy. It's got everything I need, so. <laughs> so thanks, Wahoo. Uh, I'm not sponsored by Wahoo, and this video is definitely not sponsored by Wahoo, but Ben is now sponsored by Wahoo because he's part of the team. I'm going to say a big thank you to Ben for being in this video, uh, giving us that little insight. I hope you guys have got something out of this. Can you just tell us what's one final piece of advice for these guys who are on YouTube who might be watching this video, they might want to do after they watch this video right now to do with Tristan Take video? <laughs> All I'm literally asking you to say is, can you please like and subscribe to this video? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. What oh, you... sorry, sorry. I thought you were asking <laughs> Wahoo advice. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Thanks so much, Ben. Just tell uh, these guys one last piece of advice that you got for them if they're watching this YouTube video. Like and subscribe. Exactly. Give this one a big like and uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Cool. Get back to training. Cheers, man. Thanks so much.